So in this video, I'll show you how to create Word templates in Microsoft Dynamics 365. In the previous video, we saw how to create email templates. The same way, uh, we have different kind of templates in Dynamics 365. In order to see all these templates, you just have to go to the setting, uh, go to advanced setting. And under the advanced setting, uh, under the business, we have these templates. So here you'll be able to see we have article templates, email templates, contract templates and document templates. In the previous video, I covered about email templates. So email templates, we, we created a template and then when you, whenever you open any contact or any entity, uh, in this, if you see in the blog, we'll be able to see uh, we have the button insert template. So you just have to click on that. You can select any of the template available, apply template and then you can modify your email or body, whatever, and you can send it. This is all about the email templates. Now talking about the document templates or word templates, both are same only. So Microsoft Word, we use Microsoft Word here. It makes us very easy to create nice looking, really nice looking documents for our Dynamics 365. So whenever you click, go on the documents, this Word documents, you can see uh, we already have so many documents available here. These are already created by the Microsoft just to uh, for the trial instance and all. So here we have the options of to create new template as well. So we can create this template with a consistent with a consistent design and style and share them with all the users either from inside the organization or outside the organization. So this means that all the documents whichever you create you can send to the customers which will have all the which will have exactly the same appearance which will represent your organization. Suppose you are ha you are, there is a bank called HDFC bank or whatever, they use the same logo, logo or some header and footer and some same kind of uh, body content. So you can create uh, that word template and you can use it. And whenever you are ready uh, to generate the document, you just have to go to the contact here, okay? And you, here I'll show you how to download that as well. And with a single click, all the information from in dynamic 365 data under the contacts or accounts or whatever you choose will be automatically pre-populated in the right places in the document so now uh, i'm just going to show you how to create the you know, this word template go here uh, under under the advanced setting under the setting go to the templates document templates and uh, click on the new option here here we can either select Excel, Excel template or Word template. So I'm going, going with the Word template. And this is the entity here. So uh, if I want to create Word template for account or entity, whatever, uh, sorry, any entity, you can select it from here. And that uh, Word document will only be visible for that entity. Okay. If you create it for right now, if I'm selecting it for contact, so it will be only visible under the contact uh, here. If you see here, it will be only visible under the contact, not under lead opportunity or anything. Now we have the options of upload and select entity. So uh, if you try, we have, uh, if you try to upload the simple word document, then it will throw you an error. So we have to download the template provided by the Microsoft. And in that only we have to add the content or modify it and then to upload it. So right, right now I'm going to show you just a basic uh, uh, word template uh, without uh, which is not containing any template. So let's just uh, up, uh, create one document. Blank document. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Good morning. Okay. So let's just save it. Desktop, save, okay. Now I'm going to upload this here. Hi dear. Now uh, see, this is our normal world template. I have not selected, uh, downloaded any uh, template from here. So if I try to upload here, it will show you an error that the upload uh, failed because the selected file is not consistent with the template layout. So we need to remember that we should only first download the template from here and then only we should upload it. So let's cancel it. Try to do it again. For template contact. Now we have to, in order to download it, we have to select on the select entity here.
Uh, now you can see that we have different options. One is to end relationship, and is to end, and is to end. All those relationships. So these relationships, once you select on the on this screen, whatever is uh, there, it will determine what entities and fields will be available later when we download it. It will be available later to uh, map the fields in the word templates. So right now I'm not having any relationship. I'm just going to uh, download it as it is. Download template. Whenever you have multiple multiple relations existing with uh, account lead opportunity, then that time you can just select those uh, fields and you can download it. So right now let's select it as Dynamics Power Contact. Save it. Uh, now here, enable editing. So if you see here, we have one option here, developer. Developer tab is available here. So uh, all the things will be developed under developer tab only. And now in case if developer tab is not visible to your system or, or to your uh, MS Word, first of all, we need to enable it. In order to enable it, uh, we have to go to the file and under the file, go to the options. Here we have customize ribbon and uh, here you can see this developer option is available here. So once you just mark it or uncheck it, whatever, you just click on OK. Once you click on OK, the developer option should be visible here. Now, this is uh, if this is clear to you, uh, we'll move towards the field mapping. So in order to do the field mapping, you can see here we have the option of field mapping pane here. So you have to click on the field mapping here. This uh, XML mapping pane, it is used to add the entity fields to our word templates. So here, uh, by default, it will be selected some, uh, some random X schemas, XML formula, you, you just ignore it. And you have to select this uh, URL, which starts with a URN, uh, Microsoft CRM contact, this one. So once you select this, now, uh, we downloaded the template. So in the template, we selected contact entity. So the contact entity is visible here and all the fields will be visible here. So now let's just select dear. I'm going to give a name here, dear Rasmus, and uh, job title. Job title is email and uh, address. And uh, it was nice talking to you and uh, thanks okay so this is just a basic one i'm going to map the fields here okay so for the full name just select the field here full name where is it okay here it is but now you have to select this field and you have to right click on that field now you can see insert content control and we have different options like rich text, plain text, picture checkbox. You just ignore all of them and select the plain text for our purpose. So plain text, go to the job title and here again you select your required field, insert template, plain text, email, plain text, address, plain text okay so this is done and here i'm going to give the owner id whoever it is uh, okay owner is not I, i'm just going to give the owner id it will be some kind of guid okay so plain text so now we have saved it we have created a word template i'm going to save it and upload it remember first we have to enable the de developer feed uh, developer uh, this tab and then we have to select this URL URN and then we have to map the fields so once this is done let's just close it and uh, click on the new back to the CRM choose word template contact okay remember that in the previous step we we selected we clicked on this button select entity in order to download now we are going to upload the document so just click on the upload and browse mix this one upload
So as soon as you upload, uh, uh, there was no any error because we followed the same template and here it is already activated. The status is activated. So as soon as you upload it, it will be activated. We can deactivate from here or we can delete it from here. Now we are going to check in the contact whether this uh, template is available or not. So let's open contact Alex Baker. In the email template, we used to go to the plus uh, button. We used to create uh, activity and we had a uh, one uh, button to insert the template but it is not in the case with word template here we have to click on the three dots options here and uh, click on the word templates here all the templates will be visible related to the contact so let's wait it's loading and now you can see that dynamics power contact is visible okay so i'm going to download it desktop Okay, and now uh, this first name, last name, job title, email, uh, job title is cafeteria manager and Alex Trey business phone. These all fields should be mapped. So let's open it and see. Uh, okay, now you can see these fields are mapped correctly. Uh, name, job title, email address. Now in case if uh, the fields are not uh, here, like if there is no any email address, then it will come as empty only. So thanks, this ID, everything is coming perfectly. Uh, now here, if you again, let's uh, go try to open this contact and try to see the templates. Okay, so here we can see there are uh, options of create word template from here as well, but we did it from here under the setting tab. So I'm going to tell you the purpose of this as well. And we have word templates, which we created is showing under the word templates and we have personal web templates as well. So these are two different kind of word templates. This personal web word templates, these are specific to individual users. Like I am there, I'm creating any uh, templates. It will be visible only to me for my private purposes. So each user manage their own templates, create their personalized documents uh, and use it for their own purpose. Now this, this template, whatever I create it in the personal word template, it will not be visible to any other user in the organization. But if I create the word template from here uh, under the document section, then it will be visible to everyone. So let's create any personal document. You, in order to create the personal document, you just have to come here and upload the document. So in order to upload the document, I'm just going to rename this field. So rename this document to, okay. And uh, let's try to see. Upload document, choose file, contact to, upload. Okay, uploaded. Now let's see if it is reflecting here or not. Word templates. Okay, now it is visible under the personal word template. Remember, this will not be visible to any other users. But the, both the two templates will be visible to any other contacts because it is for all the contact entities. So let's select for search, see for this one. Go to the world. Okay, it is visible to all the all the contacts. Now here, uh, see, we have uh, different options also to do the same functionality. We can uh, create the word templates from flows or from Power Automate, different options. But this one is the out of the box feature, which is provided by the Dynamics, which is provided by the Microsoft. So the main advantage of using this word template in Dynamics 365 is that it is very user friendly. You do not have to know any uh, skills about power automate or flows or any other things you just uh, download the template you do your changes you modify the fields you do whatever you want and you can upload it so it's it, it allow it what do you call that it allows us a seamless integration between uh, microsoft word and dynamics 365 also we, it, it helps us in uh, populating the data dynamically whatever data you want to populate you can just while uh, downloading the template itself 
we can select the doc uh, we can select the fields for all the relationships like one is to n n is to n whatever it is there so that is the major advantage it is very user friendly it is familiar it allows seamless integration uh, dynamic data population these are the advantages of out of the box uh, word templates uh, now one of the major difference between word templates and email templates is that uh, Whenever you suppose we have these templates available in the dev environment, and now we want to uh, we want to uh, transfer all these templates to the higher instances like uh, UAT or production one. So in order to do that, we have to first import into the solution, and then only we can we'll be able to that import and export. So if you try to import this one, uh, let me just show you here. This email templates can be imported into the solution and then can be exported, sorry, exported and imported. But this document template cannot be imported or exported. So in order to show you, let's go to the solution, any solutions and add existing field, uh, more under the templates. Here you can see only that email templates and mail merge templates are available, not the document templates. So it is very difficult to uh, move these word templates from one environment to another environment. But uh, it is possible we can use XRM toolbox and some uh, there are some other ways as well. So we can use that. Uh, there is a whole uh, another whole another process for that. We have to install the XRM toolbox. We have to create the connect. We have to establish the connection and then we have to choose the environment. Uh, we have to uh, what do you call that? We have different tool. Uh, in XRM toolbox that we can use and you can upload all the documents. So that is a diff that is one of the major difference between email templates and uh, this word templates. I'm going to uh, cover how to import how to import and export this uh, word template from test environment to UAT or whatever with the XRM toolbox in another video. Meanwhile, if you have any other doubts related to this word templates, feel free to put in the comment. I'll try to get it back. And uh, for in order to learn this email templates, you can just follow the follow my another blogs. And uh, one more important uh, thing which I missed is that uh, this creating word templates. Uh, you need to have the admin access in order to create the word templates. Here, if you see, uh, I am already the admin. That's why I'm able to create the word templates. But now, if there are any other users uh, who do not have the uh, access to create word uh, this uh, word documents or uh, this document templates, then you have to give the security roles to that person. So in order to do that, you just go to here. We have go to the security roles, uh, security, security roles. And here we have an option of document template. You have to give that, you have to uh, give that access from the from here. So let's go for AIB roles. And under the business management, it should be document template somewhere, I guess. Ah, okay. Yeah, here we have. So whatever, if you want to allow him to read the documents or create or whatever, you can just give him the access from here. Also, in case if he's having any issue, then we, we have the personal document template here. Also, you can give the access to create him the template. Uh, this is all about word templates. Thank you. Bye bye.